Most of them life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return it with having. When a man is sitting in the early morning hours or the late evening middle of the night hours, he's finding the peace and quiet of the world. There aren't that many cars driving by, there aren't, isn't that much ambient noise by and by, but what he's looking for is who is who. When a man looks for who is who, he's very careful and critically looking and listening to people around him. He is openly looking for what is what and where can we go with it. You see, if you're not willing to shift your career midlife crisis is set aside, you might literally be losing out every day to the point where your life can no longer hide. When a person goes through much poverty in their middle ages of life, it usually means that something in the society where you're staying just isn't offering you the same game. The game you need to play in is often in a different community, and sometimes it takes doing a little bit of traveling to find a place that feels more like home. A lot of people feel that their home is really in the south, but when they go down to be around southerners, they discover, I'm not a southerner at all. When they return back to their homes of origin, their native land of wherever the hell that is, uh, Noble Tucky or whatnot, they have to understand that their life has changed. Their seasoning has changed them. Their experiences have maybe maimed them, and sometimes they get into the blame game. I did nothing wrong is what a lot of people like to say, and I'm like, I'm sorry. In every relationship, it takes two people to establish good trust. What we also know from marvelous people like Polly Hulsman, who is a great product that is super for corporations that want to give a little bit of thanks to their vendors and to their sales guys and to the people that they sell to, is that it takes a good amount of time to really build trust. We pretty much know that it takes 12 to 15 interactions with someone on a regular basis that is consistent and professional to build trust. And after trust is built, it takes very little to lose that trust, especially if we do something that is, well, not trustworthy. What I mean by that is that someone might have had a game plan to talk to you about something important, and they might have been working themselves through that plan as they were discovering more and more of who you are and who you might be as a woman or a man, that all of a sudden something happens in that relationship, and that opportunity to speak about something private, something intimate, something really important to business or sales, gets monkeyed with, and then eventually you lose your job. People who jump from job to job are rarely content in their souls. People who jump from job to job have not figured out the right people to involve around their lives to make sure that the advice they're receiving is really from God. A lot of people say, I'm doing this because God has asked me to, and they're like, really? What proof do you have of that? The marvelous aspect of pendulum practice is that I can check immediately whether it's my thinking or whether it's God's wishes. And what I prefer to say, or what I can tell you every day of my life since I've been practicing pendulum as a part of my spirituality and faith, submitting all I am and everything I have to God, is that I am 100% convinced that the magnificent mother and father of all the heaven and earth know a hell of a lot more about people, know a hell of a lot more about the environment, know a hell of a lot more about politics and every other aspect of our world than me.